A lot of people is talking about ChatGPT. Even Elon Musk has talked about it. This is the most powerful AI until now. It can help you with literally anything you ask to it. So today we will be seeing if ChatGPT is capable of doing Pong from scratch. Let's start. So here I have an empty project in Unity and I will ask the artificial intelligence to uh, make a Pong game in Unity using C, uh, using C Sharp. So basically it generates me a guide about how to create it, for example, creating the scene, create the paddles, create the ball, uh, some logic for example here, but actually it didn't give me uh, any piece of code. So now I'm asking to write the code to move the, the, the two paddles and it's generating this code. Okay, so now yes, we have a, a piece of code, but the first thing I will do is to follow this guide, um, the AI generated, I mean, for example, to create the ball and to create the two paddles, and then I'm going to create this C-sharp script. This is what I have now, I have the two players, and also I have the ball, uh, this one I'm going to attach the rest of to the as well as I have in my players but uh, here is one thing if I start playing you will see that everything goes down this is because our components have a gravity scale but as you can see here I don't have uh, any instruction to say okay change gravity scale to zero so this code uh, won't help unless uh, the gravity scale is set to zero. So I will ask ChatGPT again about the gravity scale. Okay, so now we have um, an answer we have here. To stop this from happening, you can set the gravity scale property of the rigid body to the component to zero. Or uh, we can also set the object's position to be fixed using the rigid body to the constraint property. So I will just uh, set my gravity scale to zero and now you can see everything is perfect. I also have here a code about uh, how to disable uh, the gravity but we can do it uh, here by code, I did it uh, by the Unity editor and also I can fix the position. But well, uh, I will scroll up and uh, try out this script to make the players move. We have a problem with this code, uh, as you can see, uh, both players are moving in the same direction. Um, if I press W, S or up arrow or down arrow, it doesn't matter, they are going at the same direction. It tells me to use a different axis, um, but I believe it didn't tell me about how to create um, other axes. Okay, again, here I have my instructions I will follow. The answer wasn't the best because I had to do uh, other things. I mean, uh, it told me to add a new axis here, so I did that. Um, I called it vertical 2 and I assigned S and W. And when I tried out, of course, it didn't work because in the alt negative button, I had S and here in the positive W. So the error was still there. The AI didn't told me to delete these options. But well, now as you can see, it works fine. Now I would like to um, increase the speed of the movement of the paddle of the puzzle so now again it's generated uh, the code also every time it generates a code you can see it adds comments or here it explains the code so it's very nice other thing that i noticed is that here is freezing the position so the speed actually is not changing because while i was trying uh, this code i had this line uh, commented and I asked the AI why um, the paddles weren't moving and it didn't tell me to uh, remove this line of code. Okay, but uh, now the movement I think is working fine, uh, but the player 2 is moving strangely. It's not moving perfectly, but well, let's skip that. I will copy this code. Now what we are going to need is to actually add collisions to our game. Here again I have the instructions to um, add my collisions to the game and also it told me how to implement uh, these collisions on a C-sharp script 
uh, to make the ball bounce as you can see it's generating the script reading here the code i can see that in order to detect with which object we are colliding it used the method compare tag but if we see um the message in nowhere it told me to tag my object so obviously uh, these lines of code won't be executed if we want them to be executed we'll have to tag our players with a tag paddle and then also we will have to create our walls and add a box colliders to it to them as well now that i have my walls i will have to tag them as well so i will add here my tag wall and then i'm going to tag these game objects as well uh, but the ball is not moving and for example if i put the gravity scale to one or something like that as you can see it doesn't bounce uh, but no solution was given i believe now i ask about how much gravity the ball should have and here it says if you don't want the ball to be affected by gravity at all you can set the gravity scale property to zero here is the important thing this will make the ball move in a straight line without being affected by gravity but as you can see i have my gravity scale set to zero and now the ball is still there the only thing that uh, i can think about uh, is about increasing the speed but as you can see nothing happens so i ask again oh, how can i make the ball to move and now the code uh, is different because in the start method now we have this line of code uh, i believe yes these lines of code are exactly the same mm, but um earlier when i asked about how to move the ball i am sure these lines of code weren't here okay but now as you can see the ball is moving it's not bouncing and my players are um <laughs> like rotating because the the rotation uh, hasn't been freezed but again no solution is given so i will ask again about the code how to make the ball bounce i believe that the best way uh, of making the ball bounce is to actually create a material and uh, set the bounciness there but well let's see what solution gives uh, gives us this intelligent this artificial intelligence and here uh, the website crash or thumbs because you can see here for example and uh, you can see I have no code, so I will regenerate the response. Uh, it's having some network errors, I don't know why. Okay, I will just um, reload the conversation. Mm, no, but again, I'm having this issue. I had to create a new conversation with ChatGPT because in this one, in Unity C Sharp on game, which was like the original, uh, it doesn't matter what I do, I am never having. Um, the complete answer as you can see it doesn't matter if i click regenerate response if i restart the page it doesn't matter so um i created a new chat and now uh, it's telling me about the thing i was talking about earlier um it talked me about uh, to create a new component here it's telling me in the balls reach it body to the component set the bounce value to a number between zero and one but I believe you have to create a new physics material, right? Yes, because here you don't have any you don't have any bounce option or something like that. So uh, if I remember this well, um, here in create you have something like physics material. I think it was called yes here physics material. So uh, bolt for example, and here we have bounciness for example 0.5 uh here i will ball and then here in physics material uh i can't drag and drop it i don't know why or in my collision it doesn't let me what i don't understand oh uh, i think this material is for 3d yes this material is for 3d because this thing is create 2d physics material 2d okay so now we have friction uh, and bounciness. I'm going to put it in 0.5. And then in the ball, I'm going to um, put this material. 
Nice, so now the ball is bouncing correctly. Uh, but the player, as you can see, uh, it doesn't have the rotation freeze. Um, but here the solution, I don't think it's the best one. Uh, I believe these solutions obviously would work. But the, the easiest one is to just freeze the rotation. I mean, you can just select both players. And here in constraints, you can freeze rotation. So now I believe that... Um, as you can see, everything's working fine. I, and I didn't have to, to like, how do you say it? To make any weird things. And also, I will have to freeze a uh, position X because uh, when I collide with the ball, uh, the player like goes back a little bit. So that's why I will freeze the position X. Now, the next thing we have to implement is the goal system. Um, but as you can see, again, it's continuously crashing. It's literally impossible to make a game with this because, as you can see, it's crashing all the time. So now again, I had to uh, go to the um, new conversation I had opened before. And now, yes, it's working fine. I have the code. Uh, we will also need to, uh, after a goal is scored, we will need to restart the scene. So we'll ask how to restart restart scene after a goal okay so now when a goal is scored you can see um the scene is restarted and also uh, i did the like the score counter in my console because if not i would have uh, needed to make a, a user interface and all that but well, uh, everything seems to be working fine. Uh, but as you can see, sometimes the ball doesn't work fine, and the player too, uh, the movement is a bit laggy, or I don't know what has happened with it. Um, but mostly the game uh, is done. What do you think about this AI? Comment down below. See you in the next one, and bye bye.